So I don't know if many of you guys are fond of the hair dryers on the A340. Whether you are or not, I have some very bad news for you. Or good news depending on your stance. Now it's just been confirmed that Philippine Airlines will permanently retire their one and only A340-300. Now it should be noted that the airline doesn't actually fly the plane in their fleet. It's been put in storage for quite a while now and they're only using it as backup if an issue arises with one of their operational planes. Now I don't know about you guys, but many years back when I was getting to know the airline, the A340 was the plane I've always associated with the airline, and at one point it was the workhorse in their fleet. Although I've never liked the hair dryers, it is quite sad to see the plane becoming rarer and rarer. But a little history about the airline and the A340s. So they've operated the plane for an astonishing 22 years, and they first took delivery of 8 A340s in 1997, consisting of 4 200s and another 4 of the 300 model. However, the 200s were only operated for a short time and they were returned. They operated the 300s until 2014, but they were slowly phased out alongside the 747 during the same year. But nevertheless, they've actually decided to retire them earlier than anticipated. Now, I read a while back that they were considering retiring the plane around 2020 or 2021. But ever since they've started receiving their A350s, I guess they feel there's no need to pay for storage costs and keep pumping money into the program, even if it's very little. But even if they did fly the plane again, then it would only be to destinations such as Los Angeles or San Francisco, and then the plane would be parked again. So it's not really doing the missions it was set out to do, it's just seen as a second option. But when the day does come when it's retired, then sadly it'll end the A340 operations in the Asia-Pacific region. But the reality of the situation is, is that 4-engine planes are becoming far less economical compared to 2-engine planes like the Dreamliners and the A350s. Up to now, the airliner has 4 of the A350s and they seem to be very happy with them. I mean, it gets the job done. It does the same job as the A340 and even better by flying non-stop services from Manila to London Heathrow and also Los Angeles. Now they're also considering launching a new service to New York JFK which will be a 4 times weekly flight. So it's needless to say that the plane is very versatile. It's able to operate a full payload in both directions, although there could be restrictions in the winter months. Now the airline has a further two A350s yet to be delivered and this will occur around next year. And with more aircraft in their fleet, they're considering adding more US destinations. Now they also have four of the new A321 NEOs and they've also performed very well and the airline is also assessing the business case for the A321LR. So guys, I don't know if you're a fan of the hair dryers, but it's always a sad state to see a plane get permanently retired, even if it was a bit of shambles. Now captains, if you've ever flown on the A340, then share your experiences with us, and also let me know what you think of this news. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I'll see you very soon.